Howdy folks, the weekend is upon us, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Quick recap of the events of the... actually, no, if you're here you've seen the previous episode, so let's just get on with it. She's with us. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. Yeah, this whole cool route thing can now happen because we um, persuaded the Sky Clan to send their representatives. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And ether. Yeah, we swayed uh, Commander Dakota to our point of view with the strength of our compelling argument and blew up the walls of the fortress he was hiding behind, so we had no excuses anymore. Hey, it worked. <laughs> and I went the wrong way. Of course, we are expecting Regala's rebels to attack in force, because there's no way Regala's going to pass up an opportunity to kill Chief Akaro in front of everybody. Outlander, the Chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. Thanks. You might want to consider putting some signs up next time. I'm just saying, this place is a bit of a maze. This must lead to the arena. Well, yeah, I know that now. The Kulrut, by the way, is a trial of combat. It's what Chief Akaro uses to select his marshals. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They know it. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove useful. Ooh, free stuff. Yes, please. My gear's actually pretty bad at this stage of the game. Well, my armor's all right. I've got a couple of sets of epic armor. Oh, and I've just picked up another one. Good. The Tenak Marshal set. Safe. Nice. It's just my weapons that suck. Well, actually, I've got a, I've got a, an epic warrior bow, but I don't use warrior bows. <laughs> all of my hunter bows and sharpshot bows are kind of bad. So this is the new set, Tenak Marshal. And it's not bad. It's an epic set, but it's a sort of melee tank set. Uh, that's not really any good to me. Um, the armor I'm wearing is is pretty nice, so we're going to stick with that. I really, really do need to devote a bit more time to sourcing the components required to get my weapons upgraded, or just get better weapons. Anyway, Chaplain Decker's waiting for us at the trail entrance to the arena, so we need to get over there and help set up this defense. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Is that who I think it is? Is that Commander Takote? Oh, you made it then. You didn't get lost along the way. Dakota. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops if I were you. That was a pretty lame comeback, Aloy. <laughs> I could have done better than that. Anyway, Chaplain Decker, defense. Good day. 
I guess it's up there. Okay. Hikaro's defenders should be at the end of this trench. Congratulations, Aloy. You can read a quest objective just as well as everybody else. We are not alone in this fight. I can hear her. She oh she's behind me. Actually, before we pass any points of no return here, let's just make sure I've got all my ammo fully replenished and I've got the right weapons equipped. Because this is probably going to be a tough fight. Even though I never actually use trip casters, and it's not a particularly good trip caster, I think um, if Regala's rebels are going to be attacking on machines, and they probably are, the ability to slow them and trip them is probably going to be useful. So... Decker's up there, that's where I need to go to start this whole thing, but let's just make sure I've got this whole place set up with defences. Oh, the whole place is full of traps anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, look on the bright side, it means I don't need to use the Tripcaster, because I really suck at using the Tripcaster. Also, it's not a very good Tripcaster. How am I getting up here anyway? Yeah, no, it's not that way. It's, uh... Oh, up the ladder, Jingles. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's get this started. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. Nice! A Ravager cannon. <laughs> Looks like the cool route's starting. Don't know! The cool route is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers, approach! All who take down a machine shall be named Martian. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. I do appreciate having the Ravager cannon, but um, it's not going to last forever. It, it's only powers from the capacitor charge that was in it when it was knocked off the back of the Ravager that was carrying it. Actually, this one seems to be lasting a bit longer than normal. I'm certainly not complaining. It, it's a really, really good weapon. If you're ever... Oh, and there's a Ravager down there shooting at me. At the same time, though, I really do need to try to keep these core strides off the defenders that are going to break through. Yeah, there's a couple of Ravagers down there. There it is. I'm going to need to heal up in a sec. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to heal up now. It's like a plasma hit from something. 
Right, there's two ravagers down there. I need to finish them off. I'll worry about the Grimhorn later. But the ravagers need to go. And the traps are doing the job. All right. Finally ran out of capacity charge. Yep, it's empty. Well, it lasted longer than a salvaged Ravager cannon normally does. Sharp shot bow here with tear arrows to try and knock components off these things. Let's get my ballast surge up. Fire the weapon? What is Decker go? Oh, there's another one over here! <laughs> well, you might have said something earlier. Okay, fine. I certainly appreciate having another one of these. It is a really, really good weapon. And the capacitor is lasting way longer than these things normally do when you uh, knock them off a Ravager in the wild. Is that it? That seemed a bit too easy. That can't be all of them. There. Yeah, it was never going to be. What is that? What is that? Well, so much for our defenses. Hold the defenses. Go. It's a it's a bit late to hold the defences, it's already through! <laughs> well, I suppose hold the defences against follow-up waves of attackers, but what? Oh, this isn't... Is this a slither thing? Because I really don't like slither fangs. It's not a slither... F oh, God, what is that? What was that? Well, here's Regala. I've never seen one of those machines before. Yeah, and that's a dirty look. You won't walk away. Oh, you are walking away from it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, now what? Oh, shit. It's a slither fang. Shut up! <laughs> right, okay. Oh, an amount of ammo! <laughs> this is a really bad time for that to happen. Okay, I, I, I at least have enough resources to be able to make more ammo. But I'm not sure I actually want to be using tear arrows against this. Oh, it's coming for me. Nope, 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 nope. I had to fight these things in the um, intro, I suppose you'd call it. I ended up having to drop a shuttlecraft on top of them. Let's try to get some weak spots. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ah, yeah, bugger. So what's it hitting me with? A purge water attack. Let's try to at least... Oh, I keep getting interrupted. I, mean, I need to know what I'm up against here. Now it's hitting me with purge water attacks, and those are kind of bad. Um, because when, you, when, it, when you're fully drenched with purge water, it makes you much, much more susceptible to other elemental attacks. And the one thing that I know for sure the Slitherfang uses is acid. And that's kind of bad. 
Then again, I don't need to kill it. I just need to draw its attention long enough to let them take it down with the ballista. So I've got a couple of cleansing potions. And that's removed the purge water effect. Unfortunately, all it doesn't do is make you immune to further elemental buildup. You notice I'm, I've almost reached the corroded state from the acid impact. Oh, yeah. In fact, yeah, now I am. This is really bad. Once you're corroded, you take 100 damage over 30 seconds, but more importantly, it reduces all of your elemental resistances by 40%. That's not good. I need another cleanse potion. There, good. Okay. Well, that's removed the corroded effect. Yeah, out of here, that's what I need to do. <laughs> I've got to keep moving. Got to get it within range. Yes. Okay, they've hit it again. Now they're reloading. Knocked it down. If I can get close for a grapple strike while it's down. Or just a crit. Uh, no, okay, it's actually underneath the blister. I need to get it moved. And also not die. Not dying would be optimal. It's lining up for another attack. Yeah, nope. Where is the blister anyway? I've totally lost my bearings. Over here, you big snaky... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> Not over here. <laughs> okay, they got a third shot off. One more and we... This should be it. I just have to wait for them to reload. I mean, I'm not killing this thing myself. I just need to keep it occupied. Try and hit that uh, poison sack. Maybe remove its ability to hit me with acid attacks. I'm just not doing a lot of damage because my weapons are crap. Ah, let's get the warrior bow up. I mean, it is technically my best weapon. It's just kind of short-ranged. Oh, no, you don't want to be getting into melee with this thing. <laughs> uh, it's on... Ow, ow, that hurt. I mean, it's on really, really low health. Right, come on, surely the Ballista cannot miss from there. I mean, you cannot possibly ask for a better target. But what's it doing now? Alright, I have no idea what that attack was, but it looks like I managed to dodge it. How long does it take to reload this Ballista, anyway? I mean, it, you could not ask for a better target than that. Get another cleanse potion. Alright, um... Shock arrows. If I can... In, ow. Okay, so it does shock attacks of its own. But if I can induce it into a shocked state, it will be stunned. And I'll be able to pull off another crit. And it looks like I am going to have to finish it myself. Because the ballista has either been destroyed or it's out of ammo. I'm going to try and hit that acid sack. Yeah, we got it. I think. Did we? We didn't look very gotten. Okay, it's down. Alright, good news. Slow the fang down. Bad news. Still have to go after Regala. Regala went after Hikaru and Katalo. I gotta get to him. Let's loot the thing before we move though. Um so let's make sure my ammo's restocked. Plenty of resources. The good thing about having shitty weapons is it doesn't require an awful lot of exotic resources to resupply it with ammunition. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not sure that is a good thing. So, where are we going and how are we getting there? Oh, okay. So, yeah, fine. So the Slitherfang knocked enough shit down that we're able to use it as a bridge to get up and go after Hikaru and Regala. I'm on it. Calm yourself. Oh. 
You think it's possible they want me to go after the chief in the throne room? <laughs> Oh, he's on my side. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. They all dress the same. Not my fault. They keep telling me to get... Okay, fine, I can take a hint. But I want their stuff. Well, I suppose I can just loot it all later. Oh, there's Potato. Well, I, I guess he's staying there. And there's Regalo in the car. If I could possibly interest you in moving, because I can't hold on to this thing forever. In your own time, whenever you're ready. Okay, I suppose that works. Yeah, you better run. This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. What you mean you didn't bring everything you have? <laughs> will be run red. I'm detecting a flaw in her plan. I mean, perhaps if she'd brought everything she had the first time, she wouldn't be running away now. Not that I'm complaining. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. So it looks like four out of the six challenges survived. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. Well, okay. I guess we go and get Ether. I mean, th that's why we're here, after all. This is it. Ether's below. What was this place? High-tech museum dedicated to preserving the memory of Joint Task Force 10 during the Hot Zone War. There. That console. This looks like it was the server room. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. Oh, there's a data point over there, though. Anything else? Let's see what this is. Right, what's going on upstairs? With Perkins. Power surges, main building. Gold Mountain Hollow lit up. Not entirely sure what that's all about. Oh, right. Well, what's going on upstairs? What's 
Chaplin Decker going on about? Let's make sure I'm not missing anything down here. Just in case I'm not able to come back down here in the future. Decker definitely wants to talk to me about something. There's something important going on upstairs. Let's go see what's got Chaplin Decker so hot under the collar. Whoa, hang on a minute. That was not there before. That's a fully functional Aloy, display. Here. Let's talk. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? I think it might have been, yeah. Something to do with resetting the, the server. Have changed. the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines. Scarcity of food and water. Storms that drive us from our homes. Ironically, everything that's happening right but now. True courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zoe, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Surely I'm heading right back that way now myself with Ether. I mean, what what else do I have that's better to do <laughs> than return Ether to Gaia? I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. Surely I could just take him back myself. I mean, isn't that where I'm going anyway? Although I would like to see what else has happened in the Grove. Because if that one display has just popped back up and is working perfectly, I'd like to see what happened to all of the other corrupted displays. Because they'd all been corrupted so badly over time that they were basically indecipherable. So if they're, if they're now functional and they're properly relating the history of JTF-10, I mean, they're going to be worth seeing. JTF-10 seized key assets. 
sunsets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. So, yeah, it does seem like all of the displays are back up and running and 100% legible. Trained to outlast, conditioned for any climate. JTF-10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. Well, that's all very interesting and informative, but I have a subroutine to return to Gaia. Like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big Sasha's fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Erend, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. No, oh, Vol, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Paul's going to get some. Right, focus on the job at hand. We have a subroutine to return to the master terraforming program. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Please make this good news for a change. Anyway, Ether's back and he's being reassimilated. So, what's this important matter you had to discuss? So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. It's the Zeniths, isn't it? Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain 
Why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Alright. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. If this is Eleuthia, I can't afford to ignore it. I mean, the Eleuthia subroutine is no longer of any immediate practical use. Uh, Eleuthia was the part of the Gaia program dedicated to uh, breeding and raising the next generation of humans after Zero Dawn had terraformed the planet, and it's already done that. But the extra processing power would be useful. I mean, Gaia calculated that she'd need the processing power from Minerva, Aether, Poseidon and Demeter in order to be able to tame Hephaestus. Having a Luthia as well? I mean, that would be good. Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Of course, that's exactly the kind of carrot that the Zeniths would want to dangle under my nose if this is a fake distress signal. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. And Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, recover the subfunctions, defeat Far Zenith, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. I can't afford to ignore it though. <laughs> it's, ex it's exactly precisely the sort of thing that would be guaranteed to draw me into a trap. But what choice do I have? There's no guarantee we're going to get Poseidon or Demeter like back, so we changed. may end up needing Luthia's processing capabilities. Is that you're doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. 
Gaia, and gave me this focus. I, I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. So, Eluthia's distress signal. I'm convinced we're walking into a trap here. But as long as we know it's a trap, I mean, it'll be alright. Yeah? <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. You can accuse Erend of a lot of things, but a lack of confidence is definitely not one of those things. I just hope he's right. Oh, we're going, we're going straight there. Okay. Uh, this distress call... <laughs> Had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Oh, that can't be good. I look like plasma weapons. Yep. Zenith. Shit. But who are these guys? They're like Regala's rebels? Wait, and they have Ozzarum. What is that? The hell's going on here? What the hell? Wait, they just they took a shield down. How did they Oh, I guess they're gonna get to do that once. Well, that takes the keg. What is going on here? Why are the Ozerim working with Regala's rebels to take down Zenith? This is silence doing, isn't it? Carl, see if there's anything over there. On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. This has got to be silence. Well, there are obviously more Zeniths than we know about. <laughs> There's one less now. I can't name. believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. This is a new one. We haven't seen her before. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but... I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. Yeah, that plasma gauntlet she had, it's... It's, it's got to be nanotech. What? Hello, Verbena. What do you have for me? I checked everywhere, still no sign of the asset. Can we call off this pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. 
Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. Recover what asset? Are they talking about a Luthia? I mean, that would make sense. But... But if that's the case, this isn't a Zenith trap. If the Luthia is here, and this is the oh, asset that Verbena was sent here to recover, then... This isn't a trap. It wasn't set up to... Well, actually, hang on, wait. That's true, but it still doesn't make sense. Because they talked about the Bane are letting the assets slip away in the first place. What a mess. Oh, I'm confused now. There's obviously more going on here than I understand. Oh, hang on, a wrecked spectre. They took some spectres down as well. The spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Yeah. You and me both. Because I thought the asset was a Luthia. Which just doesn't really make sense when you stop to think about it. What's this? Continue monitoring V. Sutter, secondary directive. That must be Verbena. Hostiles detected, engaging targets, danger, system, failure. So, whoever these guys are, the Tanakh, the Ozerum, they not only managed to figure out a way of disabling the Zenith shield system, but they were also capable of taking down at least one, maybe more spectres. This has got silence written all over it. But what the hell is he doing here? An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Okay, one, Osiram with a focus. Where's he going to get a focus from? Silence. Two, this was a field test. And that's exactly the sort of thing Sans would send people out to die doing. Here's the weapon itself. But what's left of it. Ah. Ah. That weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. The question here, of course, is did the weapon... I mean, we know it worked, but did it then malfunction, overheat and explode? Which means it needs further testing and refinement so it can be used more than once and not kill the people using it. Which, you know, fits the available evidence. Or... And come to think of it, there's no reason why both of these hypotheses can't be correct at the same time. Was it designed to blow up after sending successful telemetry data back to ensure that no evidence would be left around to fall into the hands of his enemies? Because that is also exactly the sort of thing that silence would do. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. So they were camped here waiting for the Zeniths to show up. How did Silence know? I mean, I don't know it's Silence, but it's Silence. How did he know the Zeniths were going to turn up at this place and time? It... Oh... Too many questions. Not enough answers. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. Yeah, I mean, I was convinced this whole thing was a setup, a zenith trap. I'm no longer sure that's the case. That doesn't mean Aluthia isn't here. Oh, we're just going to have to go in and find out, aren't we? That's a long way down. 
Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... the Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Well, if there are any answers to be had, they're going to be down there. And I am not in any rush to find out what made this hole. <laughs> but one way or another, we're going to find out coming up in the next episode. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time.